How's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. I'm starting to get the feeling I'm wearing a top this top in a lot of these vlogs, but I, I imagine like the same thing happened during the summer with my t-shirts as well, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. <laughs> But I swear, like every other vlog I filmed during the summer was my theorist pink t-shirt. So yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Um, it's just, it, you know, I do my wash like at the beginning of the week and by the end of the week, you know, this is probably the thing that I haven't worn yet. And I'm, you know, currently filming this on the same day of the week each time. Um, won't be filming it next Sunday though. I think I'll probably be filming it on the Friday instead. Sunday? It's Saturday today. What am I talking about? Probably won't be. <laughs> Either way, I'm not going to be doing it this time next week because this time next week I'm going to be in work. So I will be filming it on on Friday instead because that's the day that I have off next week. Um, as you guys know, I usually do it on uh, whatever day works out best. Usually I do it on hair wash day, but uh, my hair care routine has completely changed because guess what? It's a roundup of November vlog and the thing that I did in November was get my hair cut. <laughs> Very beginning of November, as you guys probably remember, it's not been that long. Um, so yeah, this is very much the biggest thing that has happened this month is uh, getting my hair cut and I'm still absolutely loving it. Um, as I mentioned just now, I have changed up my hair care routine a little bit. So back when my hair was longer, um, I would wash my hair four times a week. So that was three times conditioning it as well and one time not conditioning it. That's literally because my hair would become so lank looking um, and, and very greasy very quickly. Um, it, that's just a, the type of hair that I have. Um, as I've complained before, I think I've complained before, my hair is very straight so it looks very flat very quickly um, but obviously when I wash my hair that's when it like looks fuller um, and, and, and a lot better uh, in my personal opinion or it did when I when it was longer. <laughs> this is this is all from when it was longer. Um, but I am now rinsing it every single day, uh, just so just because I get like I, I want to say it's terrible bed hair. Um, it's not really quite that. I think I've mentioned before that one of the things I need to do is wear a eye mask to bed because else when I close my eyes I just see white light it's really difficult to sleep um i struggle to sleep anyway my current eye mask is like a really thick one that goes all the way around and it just like pushes my hair up so like first thing then it takes a while for my hair to sort of like settle back down again so it's just easier just to like get my hair wet and then like redo it first thing in the morning um I'm also now only conditioning once a week, so I've reduced the amount that I'm conditioning it. So hopefully, you, I mean, it's it, it like so far it seems to be helping. So um, definitely think I'm going to keep doing that. And then I'm shampooing it twice a week, uh, just shampooing it twice a week. So I'm technically shampooing it three times a week plus conditioning it once a week, um, and then the rest of the time it's just with water. So my hair is definitely looking better. For it. It's definitely feeling better for it. I'm not having it. I've not had a day where I felt, ugh, my hair is so lank and, and greasy looking and horrible looking. Um, if I were to film anything, I would have to have it like under a hat because it just looks terrible. Um, which is quite often how I felt about my hair when it was longer, uh, which is why I would always film on a day when I'd washed my hair because I just did not like the way my hair looked else. Um, whereas now I've got like so much better a relationship with my hair. I'm not brushing it, which I don't think is a problem because I like, like, like the slightly messy look that it kind of gets because it gives my hair texture and I know I'm talking about my hair when I should be wrapping up <laughs> in November. But I really do. I do love the way that it looks and like the texture that it that it gets from from being slightly messy. This is speaking as somebody who has always had 
very, very straight hair. Like, cutting layers into it might give it a bit of shape for, like, a few weeks, but as soon as those layers grow grow out, it's just very, very straight hair, and it's always been very, very straight. Um, like, even... So obviously, I, uh, as a young person, I did attempt to curl my hair a few times or to get my hair wavy and stuff like that. It, just, it would fall out so, so quickly, like so ridiculously quickly that it was almost no, like the amount of time and effort it took to do it was kind of almost instantly negated by just how quickly it would just pull straight again because my hair was so bottom heavy. Um... Which, you know, straight hair like that is fine if you have, like, certain hair types, but I also had very fine-looking hair, so that, that's that's the one thing. That's one thing about my hair, is my hair always looks really, like, it's really thin. Um, like, each individual strand is quite thin, but I actually do have a lot of hair. So my hair is deceptive in how thin it is, um... And because of that, when it was long, being so straight, it just looked flat a lot of the time. Um, and again, this this comes down to the whole uh, me like really hating my hair on the days that I didn't wash it. And obviously, I didn't want to be washing my hair every single day because it just uh, it takes forever to dry. Um, whereas now, like I'm, I'm like towel drying it, <laughs> drying it with a towel, and then not even like. Putting it up in the towel afterwards, just you know, drying it to the point where it's not dripping anymore, and then just just letting it do what it wants. Like, I also like then pull it into like the messy position that I want it, in. <laughs> and then just let it dry in that sort of messy position. So like, I'm pulling like some of the bits that should probably go back forward because I just like that sort of, like messy back bit, and then like. The, the, yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's very much that at the moment. Um, it's been a good month for my hair. Um, my hair is definitely feeling a lot better. It's definitely, in my opinion, looking a lot better. Um, so, so November plus hair equals good month. <laughs> um so what else have I been doing with my November? Uh, well, obviously, as I've mentioned, I finished editing of uh, No Doors Allowed. I've started writing the blurb. Still need to finalise what, what the blurb for that one is. Um, obviously, my other writing has been ticking along. I've stepped up the speed at which I am editing the Giants. I'm not doing it at like a definite, definite pace at the moment. Uh, if I've got other things to do, like I do today, where I've got to film a vlog, where I've done my food shopping, where I'm also planning to put my Christmas decorations up, and I wouldn't normally do it before December, um, but it's like the 28th of November when I'm filming this, and I'm like, oh, I want to get my Christmas decorations up today, because, you know what, like, I'm working, I think, the 1st of December, which is when I would usually do it, and I'm like, I want to, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't hurt to have it up a couple of days early. At least it's only a couple of days and not a couple of weeks like it is to some people. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a bit of an afternoon out of it. Um, but it means that I've only edited two chapters a day so far. If I've got time, I might edit a couple more. It will depend on how long it takes me to do everything else that I want to do today. Um, so yeah, I've not really stepped up the pace with that uh, too much, but I am definitely doing it at a faster pace than I was. Um, I think I've already completed a, another edit, but that edit was started uh, at the beginning of the month anyway. So I mean, it's it's shorter. It's so much. It's so much shorter than No Doors Allowed. <laughs> like no Doors Allowed is like fifty chapters, and We Giants is thirty-seven. About the average, about the same sort of average um, chapter length for both books so yeah you can see it's it's quite a bit shorter so it's not so the editing process doesn't need to be quite as intense certainly not at this stage um still have no idea how and when my cover is going to get designed i need to i think prompt my cover guy a little bit but obviously at the moment because 
I'm British, he's American, he's uh, just celebrated Thanksgiving, um, he's had to do it a little bit differently to this year to how he would normally do it, um, partly because of the current world situation, um, partly because they had a little bit of a scare, so um, yeah. It, it, it's a case of I need to I need to prompt him just a little bit. He's got he's got a couple of weeks now where you know he, he can get it done. He can get it done without me this month. He he can do it. I know he can do it. I just need to poke him. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's that's very much been uh most of my November. Um. I suppose the other sort of major thing that has kind of happened is I have made myself a new friend. Yay! <laughs> new friends are always fun um so after coming out to uh, my parents about the demi pan i decided you know what it's about time i seek myself out to some other people on the asexual spectrum just so that you know i I'm, I'm an introvert, I don't meet people, I'm not necessarily looking for a relationship, but at the same time, you know, it would be nice to know a few more people, it would be nice to interact with a few more people, so I have made a friend. Yay! <laughs> um, which, you know, with, with, with things being the way they are at the moment, uh, I mean, I know I'm highly introverted and I don't necessarily need to be talking to somebody every single day but I've also had a year where most of that year has been very very isolated so having a new friend is very nice um and we've done a, a few uh socially distanced because we're both in very very separate places <laughs> movie nights which are great um it's been a long time since I've been able to have like a virtual movie night and my um, my group of friends that, you know, I, I, are my, my, I don't want to call them my main group of friends, but the group of friends that I've had since, um, since school, we've been trying to organise a movie night that just hasn't come together and we've been trying to do that since I want to say since March, but I have a feeling it's probably been like more April, May. Um, so it's been really nice, like the last couple, a couple of weeks, to actually, you know, sit down and watch something at the same time as somebody, and for us to sort of like, okay, yes, it's an online discussion, so it's all like text based, um, and I'm not as good at typing really quickly with my tablet or my phone as I am with my keyboard. So, uh, but. Yeah, it's been it's been good. It's been really it's been a lot of fun. So, yay, new friends! <laughs> November has been a very good month. November has been like a surprisingly positive month um, all round, um, and that does include a few things that I'm still not quite ready to talk about on here yet. But at the same time, yeah, no, it, it's it's been a very positive month. It's it's been a very a very great month for all of the the good positive things that have happened in it. Um, yeah, okay, the month started off with another lockdown that once again coincided with my time off because apparently I can't take time off this year without there being a lockdown. <laughs> But fortunately, it didn't also then follow me not being able to work for four and a half months. Um, so this is a better lockdown than the last lockdown. Um, there's only like less than a week left of this current lockdown and then we go into our tiered system and I still need to work out exactly how, what our tiered system is going to mean for certain things. I mean, I know I know this Christmas I'm not seeing anybody. Um, I'm hoping to organise some some time on WhatsApp with my family um, on on Christmas Day itself um, for various bits and pieces. But like most years, and and this is because like I don't really do Christmas Day properly anyway, and I haven't really had I haven't really since my parents split because. Um, Basically, we ended up with two Christmas days, and then when I was with my ex, 
it was the third Christmas day to add in there, um, and some years, technically speaking, I might get more, um, just because of when my brothers would be down, um, and stuff like that, so usually, and, and work's been, like, really good, because I will go, um, I will work all four of the bank holidays that are available to work, because everybody gets Christmas Day off, regardless, because we're not open Christmas Day, um, I'll be like, I'll, I'll work this, these, um, I'll work three of the full bank holidays, or I'll work four of the full bank holidays if I can get these days off instead, because this is when my brothers are going to be down, and this is when I'm going to be doing stuff with my brothers, um, so it's it's weird for me this year that when um, my business manager was like, oh, do you want the Christmas or the New Year off? I'm like, it doesn't make a difference. I'm not seeing anybody. <laughs> <laughs> my brothers are not coming down. Um, I'm not seeing either of my parents. Um, so it's going to be going to be very different this year. Um, on the plus side, I have started getting in um, some stuff for my Christmas Day roast. Uh, it's not going to be overly complicated. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. So um, I bought like the frozen um, roast potatoes because I know I will use them up one way or another because I, I, I you know, I. I've bought them before, I've bought myself some Yorkshire puddings, um, and again, I know that you know, this is a time of year where I will occasionally make myself a roast. It's not necessarily a proper roast, but it's it's sort of like got some of the elements of a roast and some gravy and stuff. I bought gravy as well. Um, and then I bought a bag of mixed frozen veg, which are the kinds of veg that you would expect to get with a roast. Um, I was tempted to kind of get one of like the steam bags, but that includes sweet corn, and though I don't mind sweet corn with my roast, <laughs> I'm that kind of person. Um, I was like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna have the, I'm not gonna have the, the sweet corn uh, mix, I'm gonna have the one without the sweet corn, um, because I've had that one a couple of times recently. Um, it does include the cauliflower that I'm not as big a fan of, but the cauliflower tends to be a roast vegetable. Um, so yeah, I, I still need to work out what I'm doing for the main bit of it um, and what other trimmings that I want to get. I'm hoping that I can pick up like um, like a thing where it's got most of those things on it. Um, I know Sainsbury's did that last year. I did have a quick look today. Um, but I couldn't, I couldn't see it, they even like changed up that section, so it might just be that it was in a bit where I wasn't um, expecting it to be, and I, you know, I, I will just keep looking in that section and, and try and figure out what the best thing to do, um, to do is, um, and then it's like a few more things that I need to figure out how I'm going to sort, because I do like Brussels sprouts, I also, like, if I can get a Brussels sprouts bag which also contains chestnuts so, oh that's such a nice mix so it's just a case of I need to I need to figure out how I'm doing the rest of my roast but I want to try and make it a bit more special than I would have for a normal roast um just because my 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 roast is so basic so basic it's usually like a, Peas, sweet, peas and sweet corns mix, because that's like quite often what I'll buy, with a few roast potatoes, um, a Yorkshire puddings, if I've got the Yorkshire puddings, I don't always remember to get the Yorkshire puddings, and then it's like um, lamb grill steak burger, and some gravy, and for me that's fine, that, that's, you know, that's plenty, that's, you know, when you're just sort of like having it for the sake of having it because you fancy something that's a little bit different it's you know it's perfectly adequate roast but this is christmas day and i want to at least feel like i'm having christmas day even if it is in complete enough isolation um and i know i'm getting off track and now i was talking about december stuff when this is supposed to be around up in november <laughs> but this is you know the stuff that's kind of going on in my head at, at the moment so okay uh with that said, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I know it has been very tangenty and not very focused on November, but never mind. This is my roundup of November, and it has at least been more of a roundup than some of my roundups this year. So. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Um, so I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm going to talk about next time, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!